Hey everyone, and today we are gonna make a game named Okay, so it's a breakout game and Warframe uploaded a video, but still I wanted to make because the code was complex. So I'll make the code easy, though there won't be power drops or something, but you will understand it in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we'll start from deleting this cute scratch. No, God! And now, we'll paint. So you can choose the sprite from sprite library, but I'll recommend uh, making the sprite only. So, let's go to the paint. My laptop is hanging a bit. Okay, so uh, you can paint whatever you like with what, which color and how much outline. I will choose a blue color with two outlines. Okay, and let's make this paddle. Okay, this is a very small paddle. Let me increase the size. And I'll keep the outline to 4. Okay. And let's increase the size also a bit. Okay, this looks nice. We'll name this paddle. And you can choose the ball from this uh, library, but I'll still recommend making the ball. So I'll choose yellow color. And no, not yellow color. I'll choose a Z color. Yellow color I'll choose for the bricks. And yeah, this will be nice. I'll increase the size a bit. Okay. So we'll name this ball. And let's move this paddle here. Okay, now we'll say th uh, it has some very basic things. When flag clicked, and we'll go to loops and say forever, and say set x position, set x position to mouse x. So it will always follow the x position of mouse. Let me show you how how it will be like. You can see it's following the exposition of the mouse and if we are beyond this edge then it will be stuck on the edge only it will not disappear okay and now this was the basic code now first we'll uh, work on the bricks so we'll paint the sprite and i'll choose the color yellow a bit light okay and now we'll make this brick Okay, so uh, I will recommend to make the size 24 by 24. You can see it is 24 by 23. I I would make 24 by 24. Uh, I'll I'll recommend this value only. I'll tell later in the tutorial why. Oh wait a second. Let me make the correct changes. Okay, so this is a 24 by 24 tile, and We'll select this V shape I V shape thing and we'll make the borders curved. So it will look more good. So just you need to just click on this, this, and click on the corner and then just delete this. So you can see this is a curved corner. So we'll do sim uh, similarly for the, all the three corners. Boom 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 boom. And boom. Okay, we have this uh, very good looking brick. We'll name it brick. And now let's work upon this code. So, first we'll say when flag clicked, then it should hide itself. And we'll start from right here. It should start rendering from here. Okay, so from the very edge. Okay, so. Uh, I would like to tell like the x x value of the stage is 480 and the y value is 360 I guess yeah, so 
if uh, we want to render the tiles accurately according to the exposition of the stage then uh, what we're gonna do let's see if the value is 480 and the width of the uh, that brick is 24 then we'll divide it by 24 and I give the value is 20 oh, yeah so we need to render 20 tiles okay so what we're gonna do is repeat uh, 20 times so first of all I'll set its position from where he has to go it will be go to and we'll set it negative 240 negative 240 okay and let's say repeat 20 times it should create clone of itself okay so we'll say create clone of itself and it has to change its exposition by the width so the width is 24 so we'll keep the value as 24 okay let us okay and we'll say when I start as a clone it should show itself so the original sprite won't be shown but the clones will be shown let's see what's happening uh, yeah it kind of works it's a bit glitching let's set the exposition to negative 230 now let's see okay this is cool these bricks are cool but uh, yeah but you can see this animation like it is show, it is taking time to render so we don't want it many of you would like this as an animation but I won't prefer it for this tutorial so what we can do is just go to my blocks and make a custom block and we will name it as a render bricks and check this run without screen the fish box this is very important and just it this block will come define the end of X and just put all the stuff right here uh, all the all the stuff right here and when when flag click just drag this block then the Wix right below it okay so now if we see you can see there's no then rendering thing because the uh, rendering part is super fast okay so we don't want only this layer we need uh, more than four layers okay so we want the bricks to render at the bottom of this also so for that uh, it depends on you how many layers do you want I'll make four layers only for this tutorial so we'll say repeat four times okay and repeat four times so f first of all just uh, take this go to x and y right below the when flag click okay they take this repeat four times uh, loop and then take this repeat 20 time loop put it right here and now we will forever set uh, like whenever it goes to the next layer so it should set its exposition to negative 230 again oh wait 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 negative 230 and it should af after it renders 20 tiles then it should change its y position so the uh, length of this is 24 by 24 so it needs to change its y position by 24 if we just put it right here and put this right here so I guess this should work okay okay sorry sorry it should be change y by negative 24 now let's see yeah we have pretty much the bricks okay but these are very at the bottom so we'll take it to the top we'll say 170 the initial y position this is also not looking much good so we'll say 160 you can try any values and choose whatever you like I'll say 160 and now let's code the board so first of all when flag clicked forever and then we'll say that uh, it should move 10 steps and at the starting 
it should point in direction 180 so that it points at the bottom okay and at the starting also it should go to 0 and 0 okay so now it should forever move 10 steps and let's say if touching if touching paddle then it should get deflected back so for that we'll use turn wait a second turn and now we'll not choose only 180 degree we'll choose a random value within a range so i'll choose pick random 140 to 180 disclaimer don't you use more than 180 degrees else it will glitch okay so we'll also use this uh, if on edge bounce so whenever it will be on edge it will turn 180 degrees so we'll use that in this uh, below this okay so I, I think now well, we also want this uh, that when the ball touches the wick it should then also get deflected back so for that we'll say we'll take an or operator put this in the left and we'll use another touching and we'll use a uh, wick so if it touches the paddle of wick then it should uh, just deflect back so this should work hopefully oh wait a second yeah it is deflecting back but as you can see nothing is happening the wicks are not getting despawned so for that what we're gonna do is just go to the wicks you can remove this thing and now what what we'll say that if so first we'll take a forever loop in the when i started the clone and forever loop and then an if statement and say if uh, touching ball then it should mm, it should uh, yeah it should uh, just delete itself so let's try this yeah it's deleting itself and we have some glitch also and you can see that it's deleting two it's deleting two wicks at a time and this ball thing is also glitching so we'll uh, take the range from 160 to 180 by that i guess it won't glitch yeah wait a second yeah it's all working but due to very small gap it's touching two wicks at our time so we can reduce the gap if you want you can reduce but as you can see if uh, it's touching this edge then it's not stopping so we haven't made a code for that so it's very simple we'll just say if uh, y position just wait here say okay. y position is less than negative 179 then it should just uh, stop all you can make game over screens and many things but for this tutorial we'll say just stop all and we'll put this in the forever loop below this if on edge bounce so now let's see uh, uh, oh it should be negative 179 not no, 179 now let's see um, wait it's not working we'll okay let me see okay we'll choose a bit less a larger value it will be negative 160 let's try this yeah you can see it's over and everything
everything is working. It's all good. And wait a second. Okay. Everything is working for now. So this was all for this video. If you enjoyed it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe too if you haven't already. So this was all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next time.